வணக்கம் அஸ் ஃபார் அஸ் டாக்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்ஜன்ஸ் ஆர் கன்சர்ன் தேர் ஆர் த்ரீ இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அட்ரிபியூட்ஸ் த ஹெட் த ஹேண்ட் அண்ட் த ஹார்ட் த ஹெட் ஃபார் நாலேஜ் பிகாஸ் நாலேஜ் இஸ் த பேசிஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஒர்க் த ஹேண்ட் ஃபார் ஸ்கில் ஸ்கில் இஸ் அன் இன்டெக்ரல் பார்ட் ஆஃப் எனி ஒர்க் ஃபார் தட் மேட்டர் அண்ட் மோர் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி ஃபார் த சர்ஜன்ஸ் ஒர்க் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி த ஹார்ட் த நாலேஜ் மே பி தேர் த ஸ்கில் மே பி தேர் பட் த ஹார்ட் தி ஆட்டிடியூட் டு அப்ரோச் த பேஷண்ட் ஷுட் ஆல்சோ பி தேர் ஹென்ஸ் த ஹெட் த ஹேண்ட் அண்ட் த ஹார்ட் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் இன் அதர் வேர்ட்ஸ் நாலேஜ் ஸ்கில் அண்ட் ஆட்டிடியூட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தீஸ் knowledge is something very basic what does tirukural say about it ha huh. does he say one or two things he says so many things we'll take just two of these that he has said just two and they give a wealth of information for instance basically how do we acquire knowledge and how do we put this knowledge to use these two tirukurals will be discussed in today's session on tirukural at gk hand surgery life's lessons learned for the surgeon tiruvalluvar in his book the tirukural has spoken about every single aspect of life and living be it virtues or politics and administration or amassing wealth or even love we have seen an introduction to this amazing book and also seen the introductory couplet or kural as it is called on the supreme being and how we can feel the presence of this supreme force in our day to day life even in the surgery we do knowledge is one of the most basic requirements to live and to survive we keep learning from the day we are born the tirukural guides us on how to acquire knowledge tottanaitu oorum manarkeni maandarku katranaitu oorum arivu the first kural that we are going to see today is number 396 of the 1330 kurals in the tirukural it is in the chapter called knowledge this kural reads as follows tottanaitu oorum manarkeni maandarku katranaitu oorum arivu now let us see what these words mean the word tottanaitu refers to digging it literally means the more and more you dig the word oorum refers to seeping through or flowing or gushing out manarkeni is the sand well manal means sand and keni refers to well maandarku means for people for human beings katranaitu is a word that means the more and more you learn oorum has the same meaning that we mentioned earlier that is gushing out or seeping through and the last word in this couplet is arivu which means knowledge or intelligence that is a pretty confusing jumble of words what does it mean and what is the message it conveys when we dig deeper and deeper in the river bed or the sand well more and more water gushes out from the springs similarly when people seek and learn more and more their insight and wisdom grows this tirukural advises us to keep learning perpetually so that we may get a deeper understanding and appreciation of the subject consequently broadening our vision the thirst for knowledge must always be high we must never be satisfied with just a little water to quench our thirst today we need to acquire more and more knowledge to serve as a resource for later on in life or any time in life let us try to understand the message conveyed by this tirukural by an example in our own day to day practice of surgery when we consider the flexor tendon sheath of the fingers we know that it is made up of pulleys when we study this deeper we would find that this pulley system consists of five annular pulleys and three cruciate pulleys we also note that there are flexor tendon zones 
and on studying further we will find that the flexor tendon zone 1 extends from the insertion of the flexor digitorum profundus to the insertion of the flexor digitorum superficialis at the level of the A4 pulley and flexor zone 2 would extend from the insertion of the flexor digitorum superficialis to the proximal edge of the A1 pulley. Not being satisfied with this, if we study further, we will find that zone 1 is further classified into three subzones A, B, and C. And this classification has been done by Mayman. And zone 2 has been subdivided into four subdivisions A, B, C, and D, done by Tang et al. This extra knowledge that we have gained will be of immense use to us when either we are repairing an injured flexor tendon in zone 1 or zone 2 or reconstructing a tendon loss in these zones. So now we have come across a lot of information and we will be coming across a lot of information day in and day out in our lives. How are we supposed to acquire this knowledge from the information? Thiruvalluvar again explains this in this classic two line couplet. Karka kasadara karpavai katrapin nirka adarkut taha. This beautiful kural or couplet is read as follows Karka kasadara karpavai katrapin nirka adarkut taha. The words have simple meanings. The word karka means learn or acquire knowledge. Kasadara refers to flawless or blemishless. The word kasadu means a blemish or a flaw. Ara means to remove. So kasadara becomes blemishless or flawless. Karpavai refers to all that is there to be learned. Katrapin refers to after you have learned that lesson. Nirka, stay firm. Adarkut taha, according to the principles of what you have learned. This Tirukural is the logical sequence of the Kural that we had seen earlier. It answers two questions. How do we learn? And after learning, how do we put it to use? Whatever we learn, we must learn flawlessly, completely and without doubt. In the beginning, there is always confusion. Imagine a fast running car on a dusty road. It suddenly comes to a stop in front of us. There is a cloud of dust that it has brought. So you are not able to see the car at all. But still, if you wait, the cloud of dust settles down slowly. First, you will be able to see the car. Next, you will be able to see the person sitting inside the car. So, clarity will come only on patient acquisition of knowledge. There is no use being impatient or learning half-heartedly without putting our mind and heart into it. After learning, we should adopt whatever we have learnt sincerely and appropriately to the matters that we aspire to use this knowledge. Here, the subtle emphasis is on using the knowledge that we have acquired and following the principles that we have learnt. Let us see an example of how it can be used in our day-to-day -day practice. When we have done a repair of flexor tendon in zone 2, we know that it is a tight osteofacial tunnel and the repair tendon may not move very easily. So we should be very careful and act judiciously in the post-operative period. Now whether we want to start an early active mobilization protocol or follow the immobilization protocol will depend on how we have applied what we have learned. That is what suture material we have used, what is the technique of repair we have done and so on. So our action and protocol must depend on the knowledge that we have acquired. Only then we can get good results and good function in the injured hand. This is just a small example of how it can be used. There are million other ways in which it can be applicable. So let us learn in depth, flawlessly and then stay firm on the strong foundations of the knowledge that we have acquired. Tottanaitu urum manakkeli mandarke katranaitu urum arivu. Karka kasadara karpavai katrapin nirka adarkuttaha. Anakkam.
I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Do click on the shown link to see another Tirukural, the first Tirukural that deals with the divine force that helps all surgeons. And do not forget to subscribe to stay connected with the latest in learning hand surgery. Manakkam.